Timberjack's Woodshop. My name is Steve. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate the really simple process of how to rub out a lacquer finish on one of your pieces. Uh, it seems daunting or complicated or, or nerve-wracking, uh, but it's really a simple process and it's something I think you should consider doing when you apply your lacquer or your polyurethane. This is the humidor that I built for a customer. It is made from Purple Heart and Mora, which are South American woods. I have placed a, uh, two coats of uh, high gloss lacquer on it and now I'm going to rub out the finish so it's nice and smooth. Now, the issue that we have when you put a lacquer or a urethane on something is that you get a nice shine, um, as you can tell by the video, but it's just not as good as it could be if you rub it out. I'm trying to see if I can show you here. There's a little bit of roughness here, a little bit of bubble, a little bit of unevenness. That kind of takes away from the surface. And if you go to the extent of putting on a nice lacquer, you want to Try to buff it out as much as possible. Now nowhere on urethane, polyurethane or lacquer does it tell you in the instructions that you can sand it, polish it, rub it out, give it a wax, um, but it's one of those things that you can do. So I'm going to try that on this piece here, see if we can get a nice uh, glass-like finish. What I have are my materials. I have some warm water with uh, soap in it to uh, kind of lubricate the sanding process. I have a 400 grit wet dry sand paper. You can also use these industrial, what my wife calls uh, scrungies. Um, they're for between uh, coats of uh, uh, surface uh, polyurethane or lacquer. You can use that as sanding paper. I'm more comfortable with the sanding paper. And then I have my uh, paste finishing wax and some uh, 4 out steel wool and that'll be for the other application. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, sand, wet sand at the top of that and see if I can't get some of that unevenness out. Okay, so I don't know about anybody else but this process is always scary to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my sandpaper and I'm just going to rub this back and forth. I'm not going to press too hard. I don't want to go through the coats of lacquer. I just want to be able to knock down the surface. And this really should, it should be all it takes. Now you can use my rag to wipe off the excess. And now you can see it really does have a smoother, smoother feel to it. And very carefully on my routered profile. I don't want to do a lot. Don't want to go through the lacquer. And with the lacquer, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go with the grain. You just want to knock down all of that. And you can feel already just knocking that down in and of itself is nice and smooth. Okay. Once I look at this and I'm comfortable that I didn't go through the coats and that I'm okay with my sanding, I can move on once it's dry and dry it off. We 
can apply a finish wax to it. You see, it's still got a shine to it, but it's a little bit hazier, and that's okay. The wood itself has a bit of a bump to it, has a little bit of a, a, a feature to it, its surface, but that's all right because that's the kind of wood it is. But it's a little hazier now, and now I'm going to put some finishing wax on it, see if I can make it a little crisper, a little smoother. Okay, now I got a little piece of four-odd steel wool. I'm going to load this up with finishing wax, and then I'm going to apply it right to the surface. And I'm going to do a lot of it. I've let my lacquer set up for a couple days. And the longer you let your lacquer set up, the better it goes. And I'm going to work this into my wood. And when this gets a little full, move on to the next piece. And just keep rubbing it in. How much to apply? Don't know. You apply it until you got the kind of glass you like, I guess. I'll do this to all four sides of the box, including the top. But right now I want to try the top and see if it's going to work for me. So I got a pretty decent, I don't think I can get any more on there. Hopefully I didn't take off the lacquer, <laughs> but uh, this is why it's always so nervous, because you work so hard to get it to one condition, and you know it's not the full condition, the best condition it can be, but it looks pretty damn good, and then you take it and you make it look like crap again, and that's really scary. For me it is. I don't know about anybody else. Not for me. It's almost like, well, I'll accept it at 80% because if I go any further, I know I'm going to ruin it. So, <laughs> all right. So I am going to now let this set up for 15 minutes or so, let it haze, and then we'll come back and see how well it can buff up. Very good. Well, hold on a second. So now, with the wax on, there's relatively no shine whatsoever. It's just all hazy. So we'll let that wax set up. It'll haze about 15 minutes, and then we'll buff it out and see what happens. It's been about 15 minutes. We let the wax set up. I have a clean rag here. It's like a uh, t-shirt material. And I am going to start to rub out, buff the finishing wax and see if we can't get a shine. with an electronic buffer, but I'd much rather do it by hand. I feel like I have a lot more control by hand. It takes a little bit, especially in the profile that you have. And you can feel 
where you have not polished sufficiently. Pick this up. Now you take a look. Get a nice shine on that on the different lights in my shop. So here is the humidor with the sides all rubbed out, two coats of lacquer and the finishing wax. You'll see in the center I put a little plaque for the client because he likes his cigars. Um, but that's it. See, it's got a nice smooth surface, a nice shine to it. Um, it's just above, just below gloss, you know, hand rubbed. And that's the feature that you have. I think it looks relatively nice. Hopefully the client will be happy. We'll see. But that's rubbing out a lacquer finish. All right, guys. Thank you.